Hi there, I'm going to explain how you can build your own algorithm using commutators. A commutator is one move, a second move, then the inverse of the first and of the second. That's interesting because we can sell part of the modifications and only a small number of pieces are modified. Let's see with moves that are their own inverse. For example, a half turn is its own inverse. If we do a commutator with half turns, we get first move, second, first and second. We notice that pieces are changed here, here and here. In fact, these pieces here are at the intersection of both faces. These pieces that are at this location are brought to the intersection by the first move and those by the second move. To undo just apply 2, 1, 2, 1. That's always what will be modified by a commutator. The intersection, what we bring into it with first move and second move. As a commutator changes three things, it must be easy to do a three cycle. For example, a three cycle of edge cubies. First move will be, for example, a half turn with this face. If we want that the intersection be this piece here, we need to find a way to change only this piece in this face. And his way is to do a slice, then do a half turn, and then slice back. Let's undo it. This move is its own inverse. Now let's do the commutator. Half turn with the upper face. Now we do the second move, which is bring down the slice, half turn, bring slice back. Now we do the inverse of the first, which is the half turn again. And then the inverse of the second, which is also slice down, half turn, slice back. We get three pieces exchanged. This one, this one, and this one. This is brought here, this is brought here. Now we will talk briefly about conjugates. A conjugate consists in doing a first move, before doing some move that will do something, then the inverse of the first move. For example, if we do a half turn, we can before that do a first move, then do the half turn, and then the inverse. What has happened? The half turn has exchanged two edge cubies, which is normal, but it has also exchanged this side with this side. Notice that there is a rotation between both because of this move. Since the half turn is its own inverse, when we conjugate it, it's still its own inverse. So we cancel it. Indeed, a conjugate does not change the nature of some move, but only the space of the cube. Same as if we rotate it. It's as if the move were applied but to pieces which are at a different location as usual. So the result is transformed the same way. Now we'll talk about buffers. To illustrate that, we'll do a commutator made up of first move, rotate a face, turn the slice twice, and turn the face back, which exchange those two cubies. The second move will be turning the upper face, so the intersection is this cubie here. We need to understand the difference between a location and a piece. Here, this is a location that contains the yellow-orange piece. The location and the piece are two different things. For the commutator, the intersection is a location that contains any piece. What is brought to the intersection by the first move comes from another location 
which we will call the buffer. Well, I like to call it like that, because what's inside will change twice or more. Let's do the commutator and see. First move. The piece which was there has arrived here, but it will not stay here, it's temporarily in the buffer, which will contain another piece later. The piece that has arrived there was in the buffer and now has reached its destination. Now let's do the second move. We bring another piece at the intersection. Now for the second time we do the first move. And so arrive the piece that was in the buffer while the piece that was in the intersection is now in the buffer. We'll stop exchanging so this piece will stay here. Now we undo the second move and we're done. This is a three cycle.